Hello, welcome back, and today I will be doing a how-to video on connecting your to your Synology or NAS using SMB connections. Okay, so first we need to connect to the NAS, in this case my Synology DS212J. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to the control panel and add some users. This is an admin and a guest user already. So we'll create a user. Testing. Email, we don't need an email, we need a password. Ooh. Okay. Doesn't matter if the password is weak or strong for this particular test um, you can get it to send a notification email that's interesting let's try that <coughs> display the user's password in the email okay next uh, just the standard users group should be fine. Next, assign shared permissions. At the moment, there are no groups that we need to worry about. Next, a quota for the user. That's interesting. Next, application permissions. Now, all we're going to be doing is giving access to an SMB share which is not yet set up. Uh, so next, next, and apply. Okay, shared folders. So let's see if we can create shared folder no click next encrypt the shared folder no don't we want to worry about encryption next and apply So at the moment, my testing user has no access. So we can give uh, read write, read only, or custom. So custom allows you to give quite in depth. Um, I, I'm surprised at that, how comprehensive these options are. Or you can get it to inherit. So I'll just close that. Um, close that and just give read write access which is essentially full access click OK and there is the testing share okay so minimize the browser and then open file explorer Here is where we will need to type in our username and password. So 
can click remember my credentials. Click OK. So there's the testing share. So if I right click and then map network drive to your S, reconnect it, login, sign in, and finish. So therefore, there we have the testing share. Now if I create a file, new Microsoft Word document, this is a test document. Edit that. This is a testing document. Close and save. Okay, now if we go back to the Synology, if we go to File Station. have the testing share. There's the document right there. So anybody signing it, connecting up to the share can see that document. So long as they have permissions. Let's have a look at... Okay, so the testing share. If we get properties on that. Free space of 912. So that's using all the free space that's currently on the NAS. Um, multiple people can connect up to that as they like. And that is how to set up an SMB share connection from Windows to, in this case, a Synology NAS. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I will be doing a, another video shortly about a speed comparison between using SMB and an iSCSI. And I will be doing the testing to this particular NAS. But it should equate to uh, other devices um, of similar, with similar capabilities. Okay, cheers. Bye.